Hey, Sammy, what are we recording today? No, before you go. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Knights of Horror. Today, we start Halloween Horror Nights week. Another thing that we do here on the Knights of Horror, Knots and Halloween Horror Nights, two of the biggest haunts in SoCal. And we uh, dedicate an entire week to them because uh, there's so much to share as far as game plans, uh, anticipated mazes and scare zones, uh, and, and uh, you know, today's video note before you go. We even have a surprise video that we're going to throw out for you guys that I think you guys will enjoy. But today's note before you go is going to focus a lot on based on, on things that we found that make our experience at the event a lot more comfortable and easier to get through the night. And uh, I, I believe we'll probably we'll mention some stuff that uh, Universal themselves put up. But uh, for the most part, it's going to be us about the best tips and tricks that we know uh, that get us by our night comfortably and, and really smooth uh, every night. So... I think the best way to start this video is uh, know and take advantage of uh, early entry, yep. uh, especially if you're doing general admission. You want to take advantage of that early entry because that is going to get you at least through two or three mazes before the event starts and help you uh, accomplish every single maze by the end of the night. Um, it, you may be there all night. You may be there. You may leave early, but it all depends on what night you go and, and, and how the crowds are that night. So. Make sure when you go to the event, whatever day you're going to uh, see when early entry starts. Um, I, I have I, I couldn't tell you. I want to say maybe six o'clock in the beginning, but it does always end up changing a little bit earlier by the end of the season because of crowds and whatnot, and because they want to make sure everyone gets through everything that night. Um, but Sammy, I know you could talk a little about the, about this. We've done early entry many times, and and how how has it helped us in the past? Yeah, early entry is always a good idea. Um, so get there early to get parking um, on the city walk. Um, and, you know, that way you can get there and, uh, you know, make the most of your time because you obviously want to get there um, and, and be able to get through security as quick as possible um, and to get into the event as quick as possible. Um, and so the earlier you plan to go is always better, um, especially hitting that early entry because um, it's going to allow you to get, like Tony said, so we're about two or three mazes in the back. I know last year they did the Terror Tram too. Um, so it will allow you to capitalize on the most of your time, especially on those busier nights uh, later in the season on those Saturdays. Yeah, so you want to you want to get there early um, and capitalize on like the, getting in the parking early so that we don't have to wait in a super long line there, be able to get through security as quick as possible. Um, and then you'll be able to hit two or three attractions. I know last year on there, they allowed the tear tram as well. So you'll be able to hit that. Right. Um, especially with the addition of the nope sets this yes, year. Yes, that's good. I uh, mean, we're very much looking forward to that. We'll talk about that later on this week. But yeah, man, take advantage of it. Yeah, because uh, the nope sets, I definitely think the tear tram is going to become something that people are going to want to do, yeah. um, especially as the night churns uh, from uh, dusk until the actual nightfall. Right. Um, um, so you're going to want to be able to get through there, get through there as quick as possible. Um, and so you want to probably want to go hit the weekend since that's going to be in Soundstage 29. Yeah. Um, and that's going to allow for a good experience since it is inside. Um, it really doesn't matter about the lights. Um, and then uh, Killer Clowns and Universal, uh, Monsters. Un Universal Monsters Collide. Those are probably the other ones you'll be able to hit there. Um, and then it's going to allow you to make the most time for those other ones. Um, um, my next tip is to bring um, a good pair of walking shoes. Very um, much because, so. Because <laughs> you are going to be walking. Not only are you going to be walk walking, you're going to be walking up hills and down hills. That's what the, yes. Um, because of the way that they've been doing it now for the last two years, um, it's it's a quite it's a little bit of a hike to get from um, to from like Harry Potter uh, Hogsmeade down to like the Carrie George parking lot area as uh, as it has now been deemed. <laughs> um, so, um, just know you're going to be going downhill. You're going to be going uphill. The tear tram is going to be a, a little bit of a walk too. It's a good walk, um, because you get to enjoy the sets of the Bates motel. You get to see the Bates house, um, war of the world set. Now you're going to be able to see the Nope set. Um, so it's going to be a bit of walking there too. So you want to get some nice, comfortable shoes, right? Um, especially if you're a capitalizing on that early entry and you're getting there early, um, and you're going to stay through closing, it's going to be a lot of time on those feet. So you want to wear something that's going to 
keep those feet from barking. Right. Uh, to add on to, of course, while we're in the realm of clothing, uh, make sure to check the weather every the night you're going to go. Uh, that's going to definitely determine how you dress as far as if you think it's a night where you wear shorts, a night where it's going to be a little bit cooler and you're going to want to wear pants. Uh, if you want to bring out sweater with you, um, like Sammy said last week uh, during our Not Scary Farm video, uh, Sammy and I, we sweat a lot. Uh, and that's just us being big. We're already on top of a hill, so heat rises for those who know. Um, and we're tall as as hell too we're around six foot so heat's gonna rise even more for us so for us we do a lot we sweat a lot but when it gets cooler at night it does start to get a little chilly because you know that wind blowing and whatnot so definitely dress to what the conditions of the weather are going to be that night uh like i said check your local listings for uh for weather uh, updates for that night uh, and that way you can plan accordingly if you want to bring a jacket if you want to wear pants shorts t-shirt uh, however you want to dress uh, dress comfortably because you like sam said you are going to be doing a lot of walking so that usually does bring in a lot of like um of course exercise to your body and uh if you're bigger guys like me and sammy it could lead to a lot of sweating so definitely uh prepare for that and maybe keep some napkins on hand if you are a sweater like sammy and i that way you can wipe the sweat off and keep going on the go sammy and i always pack fill the bags we go to one of the stores and get a ton of napkins and i kid you not we'll get like a stack of napkins but by the end of the night they're gone because we're constantly wiping sweat or just just to use it if we're going to eat like a quick snack in the park or something like we always have napkins on hand so i would always say to uh, pack some napkins on hand you never know uh, it's always a good one um what else is a very a, a very good tip that we uh usually use every year yeah, another good tip is uh, bring bring a little extra spending money. Yeah. Um, because while you're in line, they sometimes will be selling you a little bit of snacks and drinks there, um, especially as you get in those lines that are a little bit longer. You know, get a little drink, grab a little snack to pass the time um, because you are going to be standing in lines. Uh, yeah. That is the uh, the ultimate reality, unless you're getting like the express ticket and your line waits are like five or ten minutes. Yeah. Um, but if you're going to... If you if you in there with that GA ticket, just know you're going to be in lines. Um, especially if you don't capitalize on that early entry, I can promise you this: the weekend is probably going to be about two and a half hours. If you we are don't get there, that that's going to be the longest waiting maze this season. Yeah. So, so. if you don't get there early, you're going to wait. Yeah. I, I can promise you that. But also, they have uh, also like they have really great Halloween Horror Nights merch that they pop out every single year between T-shirts, uh, posters, lanyards. And much more on top of that, cups, everything. So bring a little extra spending money to, to kind of spend on yourself. I actually, when I went to Florida, I bought a I bought a lot of things. This hat being one of them, um, and they have really cool uh, really cool designs for the event every single year. So bring a little extra spending cash just for yourself because you're gonna want to be decked out year round with that HHN merch, especially if it's gonna be a good solid year, which it's leading up to be. You're gonna want to you want to snag that merch and, and and brag to all your friends that hey. You missed out on a great Horn Nights last year. So uh, definitely, uh, yeah, bring some of that spending money. Um, and, of course, um, this one's a, a rule that you should do at all haunts, uh, anywhere you go, really, I mean, outside of the, the haunt and, and horror realm. But overall, like Sammy said, you know, have a positive attitude. Be respectful. Um, these scare actors are working their asses off to give you one of the greatest shows and to sell you whatever you that is that you're entering as far as mazes go if it's an original an ip they're trying to bring that story to life as as best as possible and then they're trying to put you of course in the center of that story so be respectful you know they're doing their jobs and they're doing a kick-ass job at their jobs so just just be kind be respectful be positive and just have a good time have a fun time and enjoy it because horror nights haunts they only come once a season and after that we have to wait an entire year for them so just just really enjoy them all because it is a very fun time and it's it's always especially when you do it with friends i get to i'm fortunate enough to get to do it with my best friend every single year uh as as well as other friends that join us that we both know and and we have a great time doing it every single year and and we're already very much looking forward to what this haunt season has to offer so have a great time at the event but be respectful yeah um i think that's pretty much it for our no before you go really i mean you know there's not i don't think there's any new bag policies that uh they're implicating over at horn uh, i think that might be just a, a knots thing um with, with the chaperone policies and whatnot um so horn is looking up to be a great year and we want you guys to be as much in the know and as excited as as uh for the event as we are so that's why we are doing Knots, or I'm sorry, we did Knots Week last week. We're doing Halloween Horror Nights Week this week. And tomorrow you're going to want to stay tuned because tomorrow 
we're giving you our game plan of what we think the game is, plan. is going to work for you for a general admission ticket. And we're going to be testing this game plan, much like how we said in Knott's Week. We're going to test it to make sure it works for you. Um, we'll be vlogging that as well. So I'm very stoked for that. And uh, I can't wait for you guys to see it. But with that being said, my name's Anthony. My name is Sam. We are the Knights of Horror. We will see you in the fog. Peace.